And speaking of the elephant in the streaming industry, and finally today, an analyst says that another Netflix price hike is probably coming soon, but he doesn't expect that any such price hikes will do anything to slow the company's momentum. In short, Netflix should raise prices because it probably needs to for its balance sheet. It should also raise prices because it can, quoting Deadline. Alex Giamo of Jefferies pointed to a shift in tone between remarks from management on the first quarter earnings call in April to the second quarter call in July. Quote, after a change in language regarding pricing on the second quarter call, we believe a potential hike is probable in the near to midterm, Giamo wrote in a note to clients. In Q1, Netflix said that they were not even thinking about price increases, while the Q2 language was more open-ended, end quote. An increase of $1 to $2 a month in North America or Europe could generate $500 million to $1 billion in fiscal 2021 revenue, Giamo says. Giamo sees an increase of $1 to $2 a month in Europe, Middle East, and African countries, as most likely estimating that it would add an incremental $700 million to 2021 revenue. Prices in the 200-plus countries where Netflix operates are constantly in flux. U.S. subscribers saw their last increase in May of 2019, the fourth such price hike since 2010, when the most popular plan went from $11 a month to $13. While the hikes invariably cause some subscribers to bail on the service, the company's momentum has continued in terms of subscriber trends and the company's stock price. Subscriber growth has flattened in the U.S., but is still on a growth curve elsewhere. Quote, We have confidence that Netflix can raise prices in international markets given its deepening content library and outsides consumer value proposition, Giamo wrote. End quote.